Alright, so what happened here? The first term of a GP is 27 and its common ratio is R equals to 4 over 3. Find the least number of terms the sequence can have if its sum at seats 550. Okay, so given to you that A is 27. Meanwhile, R is 4 over 3. So least number of the terms in the sequence if the sum of n that you don't know, okay, at seats 550. Okay, so apply the formula for your summation here since we have our r to be greater than 1 here. So we might want to use the formula of a in the brackets of r12 of n minus 1 over with r minus 1 greater than 550. So a here is 27. Our r is 4 over 3 to the power of n minus 1. Got 4 over 3 minus 1 as well greater than 550. So now simplify all the things that are outside the bracket first. Okay, so now we have this one. So simplify outside the bracket first means that it's, it will be coming 550 over 81. And then again plus with 1. So therefore you have 631 over 81. And then take log. Basically the common log would do all the problems. Huh? Okay, so... This one can be brought in front because it is a power ruler. So now we have to check first. Huh? Log 4 over 3. Is it positive or negative? If it is negative, so the sign must be changing. But then this one is a positive number. So you should compute this first. It is a positive number. So therefore, the sign remains like that. But then, our n is actually a whole number, right? It's a bilangan. It's a number of terms. Okay, so therefore, we need to round it off to the nearest whole number that we have, which is 8. Okay, so our answer would be 8. Okay, what happened if we have to determine the simplest fractional form of the following decimal numbers? So, let's say if you have repeated decimals like this with a period of 8 here and period of 6868 there this one is actually 4.7 68 68 and so on okay so how to express that one into an exact fractional form okay so now for 0 0.3888 we have to separate them first it's actually 0 0.3 plus with 0 0.08 plus with 0 0.0 plus with 0 0.08 plus with 0 0.0008 plus with and so on. Okay, so 0 0.3 can remain there. Meanwhile, please note that here you got a common pattern that which the 0 0.08 plus 0 0.008 plus with 0 0.0008 plus with so on. It follows the GP already. The geometric progression or therefore from here, we can say that our A is 0 0.08 and our R is 1 over 10 or 0 0.1. So therefore... 0 0.3 remained plus with we have to find our s infinity here so s infinity should be the with the formula 0 0.08 over with it's 1 minus r so 1 minus with 0 0.1 all together so this one as we know is 3 over 10 plus with Use your calculator also can. Should be 4 over 45. So now we would have 7 over 18. Next. 
So how about this one? This is actually the form of 4.7 plus width for 0 0.068 plus width also 0 0.000. Okay, how many numbers there? 1, 2, 3, right? So 0, 1, 2, 3, 3 zeros there, 6, 8 again, and then 0 0.000. 0, 0 with 6, 8 also. So for 4.7, it's actually 47 over 10 as we know. And then for this one, it follows a summation to infinity. So our A is 0 0.068. Meanwhile, our R is 0 0.01. Okay. So, finding the summation to infinity, which means 0 0.068 over with 1 minus 0 0.01. So, it will give you the answer of 34 over 495 with eventually, if you plus them together, it should be 471 over 990. So that is the fractional form that you are looking for. Okay, so before we depart, this is some lecture extra exercise for you to compute by your own. And then please attach this to the GC as your proof for the attendance. Okay, see you again.